Hello, everybody. It's a Monday. Yay. Isn't it always Monday when we play? Yeah, but... Unless it's a Tuesday. Maybe you're tricking us right now. But... Hold on a sec. Where did you throw that toy? Oh, no. Oh. She... I have the baby with me tonight, everybody. She uh, threw a toy right behind me in the chair. We are being very violent at the moment, so uh, expect thumps and, and slams. Go. You know, when you said it's a Monday, I can't. I only hear it one way, and, and Knox knows this way. It's a Monday. <laughs> <laughs> But is everybody mostly um, okay or surviving? Yeah, I'm making it. H have you bought more camping stuff, Grave? Not yet. I'm going to, though. Everybody, this has been his jam. Between camping and fishing, like, my, my wife is like, we're not getting more conservative. We're just going to get more country as we get older. It's like, that's probably true. Waiting for you to get your new your your NASCAR T shirt, Chris. Oh, race hail praise Dale, you know. I'm all about it. Anyway, so y'all are in the top floor of a tavern. Mulak uh Mulak had uh made himself look like a woven branch and gotten a charcuterie board and a discounted rate on the room. Uh Gestalt bloops out of the the laboratory and the uh, the pouch and the rain that uh, Tarl summit is still going on pretty strong outside what is it that the party wishes to do now I I hate to be that person but it's been a while since I've actually played <laughs> Okay, uh, you had to flee the livery because uh, the the livery reasons. Yeah, yeah. The uh, there were several flares popped off that brought much more woven branch attention. There seems to also be a detachment of red of land that's moving through the city now. However, oh. Mularn took uh, flares from some of the woven branch that was killed to pop off in a different section of town, so they started moving over that way. Uh. The party had to move quickly because also there was a returning bad guy. Uh, let's see. Cannon Lorraine was seen moving with some rid of land individuals who seemed to maybe see through Mulak's disguise. Maybe not, but definitely did not, definitely did not act on it. Okay. Maybe he's secretly a good guy, and he doesn't want this shit going on either. We could always ask him. Should we? Y'all go find him. No, I'm super evil. I won't wish shit to happen. Henry no. Colomancy. Go ask him. Little girl, no. You cannot grab that. That is the mouse. But she wants to play. <laughs> What are you doing? Screw it. The baby's DMing now. No, 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 no. You cannot chew the cable. What, what are you... Stop telling her how to live her life. She knows what she's doing. She's a full-grown woman. She don't need no man. Ah, she's rolling dice. <laughs> That's right. Nat 20. <laughs> Old town explodes. <laughs> Oh, wow. Child, I love you so very much. You're about to go back in the high chair. Oh, shit. No. I got to bring in the dog one second. No, 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 no ma'am. You cannot chew on cables. Anyway, so, party. Y you've had a charcuterie board. So our plan was to go to sleep, and then in the morning, Mularn was going to get us in the building somehow. 
with a door or some shit. With a door? That's what you said. <laughs> We're gonna go in the door. Okay. And then our plan from there is to figure it out once we're inside. But we've been in uh in Elvorn's office before, right? Ah! So we should probably remember where that's at. I got bit. Well, you should have you shouldn't have tried taking her cable away from her. Child. So. Is that true? We've been in Elvorn's office before, right? Yeah, y'all been in. Yeah. Okay. You've been into the Woven Branch offices. Yes, we have been in the room, the room where we decided that he was gonna die. Okay, so I thought y'all have yes been in the room where what was gonna be a mid boss turned into a BBEG because of how much y'all decided to hate him. Yay! Story driven narrative. Hewitt, I'm throwing out the whole idea I had. They hate this dude way more than what I was doing. Anyway, so, who is anybody taking watches, or how are y'all going to do this for resting tonight? I could just get our, uh, our guests to watch for us. I mean, our hosts to watch for us. Hey, make sure nobody bothers me. And they'll be like, yes, sir. A hundred percent. Yeah, that would be exactly how they act. I'll go down and do that. Hey, make sure nobody bothers me tonight. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. You're very appreciated. You're, you're welcome. You're very appreciated. Now do what I say before I, before I have this entire place set on fire. Okay, so you've set up a watch with the innkeeper. Could you not try to eat my hand? Well, you took the cables away. What's she supposed to eat? Well, she's now trying to find other cables. I would say listen to your godfather, but he's going to tell you to keep doing what you're doing. Absolutely. I would tell ask your Aunt Claire to say something, but I think she'd still say the same thing, too. Yep. I am outvoted, child. Yep. Cannon, are you on my side or no? I'm gonna have to vote with the crowd at this point in time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that tracks. Okay, so do y'all sleep in the room or y'all going to go sleep in the bag? I believe we were all sleeping in the bag and Arvax is sleeping in the room because she doesn't like sleeping in the bag. Okay. Arvax. Okay, Emily sent me a text. What the fuck was that? Uh, no phone. Oh. She says, Arvax is going to stay outside the bag and keep watch in the room. Everyone else can sleep in the bag. I'm assuming that that is supposed to be a grumpy face emoji. Told you. So, Gestalt, Sorry about that. as you get out and you have everything explained to you in a split second, everybody gets back in the bag except for Arvax. I'm like, oh, that's cool. Oh, God. Okay. Back in the bag I go, then. Get in the bag. Henry, get in the bag. Get in the bag, jelly man. Oh. <laughs> I get in the bag. All right. And no Artax. No, you can't have. Artax can do whatever he wants. If everybody else is doing it to me with the baby, the dog gets my love, too. Alright, um, well, you set a watch up, and you got Arvax taking a watch. Everybody enjoys a long rest. Reset your spells, regain your uh, HPs. If anybody's expend hit dice on anything, you regain half a dim. Oh, 
Oh, so let's see. Who all is in the bag? Dreyfus, Greg, Gestalt, Tarl. Bless you. Bless you. Are you done? Nope, now it's going to be a fart on my leg. Yep. So there's seven, eight, nine in the bag, correct? Counting jellies? Sure. Well, no one is affected by anything. We're good. Oh, right. wait, is that a... Uh... Oh, it's a check? No, I was rolling a random. Mm. I was rolling random. a random, yeah. and uh, luckily I rolled the number that was not on a party member. So everybody wakes up just fine. Unaware of anything that may have been unfortunate that could have happened. Suddenly Gestalt eats everybody. No, that didn't actually happen. Suddenly Gestalt is made out of baking soda. That AC is now one. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna gloop out of the bag. Okay, Arvax is awake. Breakfast has been left uh, on a little tray table outside the door. Oh, breakfast. I should really eat normal food, not people. I think it's starting to affect me. Anyway, I loop over. Okay, Dreyfus looks over at Mularn. All right, fully explain your plan again. Oh, Mularn. Well, it's it's very simple. I make a door. Mm -hmm. We walk through that door. Mm -hmm. There's some nebula stuff at this point uh, that we I haven't really hammered the details out on. Uh, it's just it's nice thing. It's just it's like it's almost even like a half step. Like step one, I make a door. Step two, we go through the door. Step two point one, a little bit nebulous. Step three kill your dad step four get out with our lives so it's pretty simple okay how do we get to a place where you can put the door no ma'am no ma'am no ma'am okay so we're gonna shift we're gonna shift all bullet points down one and we'll that then that'll be and, and so just move all the numbers down one and that'll be number one Step one. I can make us. Look? I can make us look like uh, the fucking what call it? The people in charge, and then we just walk up and do it. Couldn't we just we go say, in if we do that? No, because we don't have a full story, and we don't know enough to make a full story. So we just say we're on. We're looking around, make sure there's nobody doing any crazy shit. And then that's that. Right? Easy peasy. Done. <laughs> looks, at Mule, so, looks at Mulaith. Do your brothers make plans like this all the time? Wait, I don't see you yeah, coming up with the plan. And, and they... And they work. Yeah, let's see your plan then, Dreyfus. Um, okay, yeah, I got nothing. Yeah, exactly. Greg, we set the city on fire. And it makes him come out of his house. And then we stab. Okay, I'm, 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 am, I, am, am I going crazy or did that, like, did it kind of resonate? 
Dreyfus just picks up I Greg. Wasn't, I wasn't paying any attention. Dreyfus just picks up Greg and just puts him back in the bag. I feel like Dreyfus's plan is, as long as we work hard and pick ourselves up by our bootstraps, we can do anything. That's Dreyfus's Doesn't plan. work that way. That's not how bootstraps work. You can't not, pick yourself up. It would definitely not. No. You damn well know that's not my plan. Two years ago, me, maybe. Not now. You do like, you do like bootstraps, though. Look at your boots. I do like bootstraps. I have buckles. You gave me boots. Buckles, buckles aren't as good. Bootstraps are like leather spaghetti. That is the worst description I've heard, other than inside ropes. I liked it. I liked the description. I thought it was perfect. Thank you. You just don't under you don't understand fashion, Dreyfus. Our taste, because. Sometimes, you know, the boots are delicious. Not to be confused with the boot liquor, though. Oh, that kind of taste. Got you. Ah, nope. No child. No child. <laughs> nope. You're mad. Get, hey, everybody give me just a second, okay? Get in, baby. Establish dominance early. <laughs> if you look at, at Stalt, you can just tell that man knows fashion and he knows taste. Because he's eaten a lot of people, and oh, they're typically wearing clothes. I'm. I don't believe that they're typically wearing clothes. Well, you could eat around the clothes, but the clothes are like seasoning. You know, sometimes you know all the sweat and everything gets kind of mixed in and kind of creates its own flavor. I can see that. Sorry about that. It was a diaper change, y'all. So, did y'all continue to berate Dreyfus on his lack of fashion and taste? Yeah. We were like, wow, you have bad... Hey. What are you, what are you getting mad about? I feel like more so we're saying that Gestalt has great fashion and taste. In comparison, because to I've eaten is terrible, I've eaten so many people with great passion and taste. It's just like, it's just, I just know things. Cool, know things that other people can't. Okay, so for the DM's end on this, the plan is sneak to the temple mot, make a magic door, get inside, go from there. I mean, it's legitimately more solid than most of our plans. Well, it's less solid than most of our other plans, but probably more in the line of what's going to happen. Cool, cool. Is everybody okay with this plan? You know, I'm here. I'm ready. Are you ready, though, Dreyfus? We don't have an option but to be. Well, you, you have the option to not be ready. Yeah, that's failure. That's not happening. Failure it is, is, is always it is the plan. plan. It's the only plan. Well, you could run away. Just never be seen again. Disappear into the void. That is the next town over where you have a new name. Probably Johnson. Do you like that, Dreyfus? Yeah, he likes it. He likes that name. I've given Dreyfus multiple names. He doesn't like any of them. Uh, 
he's not responding, so I'm, I'm going to take it as a, that he, he likes Johnson. He loves it. He loves it. Cave Johnson, that's his new name. Cave Johnson, attorney at law. I can, I can see it. Oh, heck yeah, I just got a good message, guys. What's that? I just, uh, and I'll, I'm sorry, the reason there's been a slower update in uh, our YouTube videos is because I have to edit out large swaths of silence when MRI both have to go help Freya with something. And I'll edit this out later, but um, it's a virtual day Wednesday for all students. I have to be there till 1130 because we're down at state. Nice. I don't oh. know what that means. I'm uh, happy our, for you. Our basketball team went to state, so they're giving me a half day. I really thought I'd have to be there a full day. Students don't have to come Wednesday is what they're saying. Oh, cool. Hmm. So, yee. I wish I could have went to state. It's in Lake Charles, so you're not missing anything. Please tell me that I'm not the only one that has a dislike of Lake Charles. You I mean, was there all week last week. You mean East Tech? No, Shreveport, East Texas. They have the they have the green gumbo in Lake Charles. It's West Houston. Well, that's ninety percent of Texas. Anyway, so what is the plan to get to the temple, guys? Uh, I will look like a sort of in charge person and the rest will look like my underlings and we'll just march over there i want to look like josh brolin okay he looks like josh brolin but shorter i'll take it but like goonies uh <laughs> goonies josh brolin not, no you, no you look not, like not Thanos. no you look like uh no country for old men josh brolin he looks like Llewellyn. Llewellyn Moss, yeah. Okay. But you next time I get to be Goonies, next time I get to be Goonies, Josh Brolin. Where'd you get that? The get in place? I'll be... Fuck. Corey Feldman from the Goonies. Wasn't he in the Goonies? He was in the Goonies. You look like Corey Feldman now. Ow! Oh, no! <laughs> Damn! Like, Shit! You're, talk, you're talking about like, you're talking like peak Mangum arrest record, Feldman, like musician Corey Feldman. Yeah, he got he got arrested up here in Mangum, uh, on his tour. Yeah, he was supposed to play here in town, but he got arrested and everyone got pissed because they had already paid for it. I was sitting there thinking, like, why would you pay ahead for Corey Feldman? Like, really? They knew he needed bail money. <laughs> <laughs> the South oh. really is full of kind, generous souls. And idiots. <laughs> so this is, what our, this is what our party looks like so far. What did anybody... <laughs> I'm not going to say it. Because I know that Emily has already gotten mad at me when I posted that and not real people. <laughs> Wait, and uh, and Taro looks like uh, Sean Astin, but in uh, Lord that, of the movie where, that movie where he's in Hawaii, Fifty First Dates. Fifty First Dates. So it's just him in a him fishnet a... shirt. <laughs> so, the badass guy from Secondhand Lines. Oh, Robert yeah. Robert uh, Duvall. Robert Duvall. Yeah. The guy that kept punching fuck. <laughs> nope. There's Dreyfus. <laughs> That's Dreyfus. Dreyfus is Sean Aston for fifty first dates. There's Tarl. <laughs> About to go. Can we him. also have like the, these outfits too? Not just like we look <laughs> like that. It's just Wait, who else is in the Goonies? Uh uh, the, what's his name? The guy that was in, uh... Everything Everywhere All at Once. Yeah. Yes, uh, yeah, but he looks like the dad from everywhere. He looks like he does now. 
So who's that? Is uh that is Arvax? Nope. Yeah, that's Arvax. And what what are you doing for Moulay? Oh God. Wait, I got it. You gotta give give, give me a second to find it. I got. It. Uh, Wait, I know who Moulay looks like. She looks like the epic sax guy from Lost Voice. <laughs> no. Uh. God damn it, what's her name? She looks like Leah Thompson, but in Howard the Duck. Wow. That is a, <laughs> that is a reach. Hey, that awakened things in me, okay? Yeah, that's better than mine. Never mind. That's the only gift they have of him. They don't have one of him in the movie. But he looks that suave in the movie. And that dorky at the same time. Oh my god, did you give her the giant, like, frizzed-out haircut, too? Yeah, just like Leah Thompson and Howard the Duck. Alright, Claire, do you approve, disapprove? I'll, I'll go with it. <laughs> okay, so everybody just looks like these type of people now. You don't look like Woven Branch or anything. You just look like... You look like what you look like right here. Some some dude who's in charge and, like, people from the Goonies. <laughs> no, but they're in, they're in the, the regular costumes that they're supposed to be in. They just look like these people. I don't know. I heard that you're going to make Dreyfus look like that exact picture of Sean Astin. And uh, Arvax looks like China the Wrestler. Not as deep of a pull. It's because it's out of... It's in the 90s instead of the 80s. Okay, she'll look like... Uh... Oh god, what was it called? Okay, so Arvax will be this right here. Uh, you said China, so... Nope. She'll be f from Weird Science. Because she'll hate that more than looking like China. You're not wrong. No, <laughs> no. You... Whenever Emily gets Discord up and running here in a second, I think she's going to yell at you. <laughs> oh, she is. But don't tell her. What the fuck is happening? This, they are disturbed that... Mulak is telling everybody what they look like now. Apparently, you look like uh, Weird Science. You can lady. either you can either look like the lady from Weird Science or China the Wrestler. You can pick. What what hap What is going on? Just Why are we looking her... different now? I thought we were spending the night at the. We end. already did that. That's done. They yeah, just that was They just sold you for entry into the Woven Branch. <laughs> I'd murder every one of you. So you're disguised. Do you want to look like uh, what's her name from Weird Science, or do you want I to look, look like, like Lucy Lawless? Fuck you. Or do you want to look like China the Wrestler? I don't know who the fuck either of them are. The, look at Discord. The last no, two gifs. It's a gif. Yeah, last two gifs, like you said. Gif does not no. make sense grammatically. Shut the fuck up, both of you. Okay, th show me another word that so it says G and then I and starts with because G the G because the G stands for graphic. It doesn't Ugh. matter what it stands yes, for. Yes, it I'm does. No, it does not. Computers are ones and zeros. They don't understand grammatical. English major judge, shut up. Because if you go with it, should be like that. Then you should call it a GIF. I'll do that before I call it a GIF. It's a GIF. So do you look, minus the Lucy Lawless one, do you look like the wrestler? Lucy Lawless. Or, or the weird, okay, you look like Lucy Lawless, but you look like Lucy Lawless from Spartacus. Oh, now, who gets to be Lucy Lawless? Hey, Lucy unfair. Lawless isn't always hot. Lucy Lawless is smoking hot in Spartacus. I'm saying, she looks like, I'm like, Wait. you say that like she's not hot all the time. And you can see her boobs what? in it. <laughs> God damn it. She's got weird boobs. 
She got. Why? Why are we movies. making fun of Lucy Lawless? She didn't uh, we're do not. Us. Back on. I'm not task. making fun. Ma back on task, everybody. She break me in half. I love Lucy Lawless. Okay. So we have Lucy so Lawless because she's being a pain in the butt. We have <laughs> Leah Thompson from Howard the Duck. We have uh, what's his name, Le Lehigh Quoon or whatever from Everything Everywhere All at Once. We have what's his name, Bob? Not Bob Hoskins. Bob Hoskins. Uh, uh, fuck. Now I, I can't even remember. Are you talking about Robert Duvall? Robert yeah, Duvall. We have Sean Astin from Fifty First Dates. Josh Brolin from No Country for Old Men, and current Corey Feldman. In that outfit. I have to be in that <laughs> outfit. <laughs> and I will Th be... That's not Photoshop? That's not... No, that's, that's an good. actual picture of him. Oh my god. That, that man you, has... Problems. You will have to be that picture I posted and not real people. No. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Leafield bullshit. I'll be Vigo Mortensen, but in uh, an oh, oh, by the way, all of these are elf versions of them too. Do my ears look as dorky as I do? Yes. I'm going ahead and saying yes. I'm actually, I, you could just look like current Corey Feldman, and they'd believe you're an elf. Valid. Okay. What's that movie that? Uh, yeah, yeah, not yeah, not history of violence. That other movie where Viggo Mortensen's all tatted up. Nah, nah, nah. Hidalgo. <laughs> Eastern, is it Eastern Promises? We're, go, we're gonna Eastern say Promises. we're gonna say yes and go on from there. Okay, that's it. Yeah, and I look like this. Okay, so you are all disguised, and now you're gonna go up to the Temple Mott and do the door trick. Because that, that looks like a man who's in charge. So, you've gotten your disguises, you've eaten your breakfast. Has everybody done their spells for the day? Yes. I, I, I've done the spell up. Oh, y'all get in the bag. I have to make myself look like what I looked like last night, but when I leave... Okay. I, but I can change what all of us look like on a whim, so I can just ch change myself back to Viggo Mortensen from Eastern I, I I Corey Feldman blurp in the bag. <laughs> Wait, everybody, oh shit. Everybody do in the bag. To, do you have to do Colidosis too, right? Oh, yeah. He'll be uh, Dwayne the Rock Johnson, but That's skin, good. skinny Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Emaciated Dwayne. <laughs> Dear Lord. And Aspic is a uh, Willow. So Willow is just going to be on people's shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to climb onto. Uh... Isn't Aspic like the size of a large squirrel? Yeah, he still looks like Willow. Uh -uh. He climbs on Dreyfus's shoulder. <laughs> So he'll be on Sean Aston. All right, everybody in the bag. That's the noise that makes his people enter. Dear and then Lord. I'll leave. I'll say thank you for the room. Uh, did y'all gave it to me for two nights or one? I don't remember. You paid for two. I didn't pay. You requested it for two. Okay. Well, can I leave you a tip? If you wish. I'll give him like two gold. Subtract my two gold. Uh, I'll see you tonight, probably. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure. Thank you for your hospitality. Th thank you. And see you later. Bye. Thanks for breakfast. And then I'll just go into, like, is there, like, an alley where no one's looking? Uh, yes. And then I'll open the bag and go, all right, everybody out. Corey Feldman blurps out. 
Gladly. Gladly get out of the bag? It gives me weird claustrophobia, okay? It's a, it's a very big room, though. Very I know, but I know I'm in a bag, and it weirds me out. <laughs> when you know you're in a bag... You're not in good. a bag. You're in, you're in, a, you're in a mansion-sized building. House. It's yeah. in a bag. It, I, it, It's weird, okay? Wait, does this place have windows? Just as a... No, it does not. Okay. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. you can't see outside, so you can't see the horrors that could be just out the very door. <laughs> that I think that made her feel better. Good job. See? Okay. See? All it takes is a little bit of ignorance. The thunderstorm, the... the thunderstorm has died down to just a ongoing steady rain. The streets are completely saturated. Nothing's necessarily flooded. Other people walking around. Uh, do they have not, mud on their boots? Not a lot of people are walking around as you step out. You can see a few people, but they seem to be talking to a very present woven branch. Like, as you step out, Everything from yesterday seems to still be, uh, still seems to be very alive in people's memories. Okay, whichever way the woven branch are, we will exit the alley the opposite way. Okay. So instead of going towards the market way, you come out over here near the gallows, and you can still see that there is a body hanging from the gallows that is a large dragonborn figure. Do we recognize a large dragonborn figure? Yeah. Yes. It is still the body of Bloodmane. Oh, he has a thick neck. The fuck, Gestalt? Oh, it's something, you know, after a while, the body just kind of falls down because, you know, the neck gives out. He just hasn't decayed yet. That's true. That's true. Give him time. And, all right, folks, get into marching order now. You have to listen I get... to me while we're walking. Yeah, let's that, that's... I don't think they say folks. Right, but uh, they can't hear me right now. You're just supposed to be in 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 formation. Get in form. Get in formation, maggots. How's that? That's that, that, once again. Drive better. Us, drive us, that's way no. What do they say? Do they say bot flies? No, they soldiers. They just say get in order. We're the woven branch are church police right but they say you yeah rascally rascals you get in formation get all right in your you silly little formations get you. in formation doodle bugs yes sir oh my god that's so much worse we're gonna get caught we're gonna die do they do they count out marching do they go like lift lift no lift. Act like you've never seen them walking around the city don't we pay have attention. literally watched them our entire lives. Okay, let's as, go. As y'all are, to... are having this argument, you watch as a Ritalan land individual goes by and just smacks the hell out of blood, uh, blood main and you hear a gasp. Gasp as if he's, like, alive? Yeah. He does have a what? thick neck. He's alive. What? What? Oh, I told you he has a thick neck. He does have a thick he's neck. still alive? I mean, if it's thick enough, them muscles, them muscles will keep him alive for days, until he starts wasting a bit, and then you know it's it's eventually going to choke him. We can't risk releasing him right now. Uh, 
Unless you can do it without being seen at all. Give me nope. a second, I read time. Oh, okay. Hold on, he's got to look in his book. I mean, personally, I don't know of anything I could do to... Yeah, Maychan's not invisible, so... Also, Gestalt, you've never met this dude before. Well, they say they want to help him. So maybe I would just want to help my friends, huh? Yeah, that's right, Huey. You didn't think of that one. So far, Gestalt really hasn't given that vibe. Oh, there he has. He's a very helpful boy. He Person. has. He also has been very combative about some. I think he had. Person. Some, I think he ate somebody that made him a little bit rougher around the edges for a minute. So yeah, that's why I'm. I'm avoiding the people for now. Corey Feldman, are you a person? <laughs> I am an idea. <laughs> oh my god, that's terrible. Much like Michael Jackson. <laughs> because that's who Corey Feldman wishes he was. Yes, it's weird. God, it's weird. All right. Two feet. Right, you guys can... Is there in, is there in, somewhere about is there somewhere six is it around like sixty feet away that I can kind of not that I could go and not be seen? Uh, what's your passive perception? Sixteen. Just make sure whatever you're doing yeah. doesn't come from like like a beam from where you are. No, it would be. You with a sixteen, yes, you can find. Uh, there's kind of a little side dip you can move into. Okay. And alternatively, I could always get aspic with the knife up there. Just to... I need. Speaking speaking of. Tarl, you have a. You have a leather worker's kit, don't you? I have all the kits. You do. I need your head knife. No, we're not well, going to cut his cut head, head, off. head off. I'll reach in my pouch and hand it to him. I am going to hand this to my sister. I need you to drop this near in this area, I'm gonna, I'm gonna point out uh, uh, from that air from that point. I'm I need you to drop this off to the side within sixty feet of me, like away from me. So, for example, on the map, if the steeple on the temple mot is it is oh boy i want to be here by these rocks and i want you to drop it here by this house as long as as long as that as long as it's 60 feet between the rocks and the house okay and him and him you know she wasn't very good at math, brother. I've got the math figured out. I just need her to drop. I just need her to drop it, or to place it. Uh, or to place it somewhere kind of inconspicuous, because I got an idea. Do that. Um, so here's my thought. So here's my here's 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 what I got worked out. So Mulet drops the knife. I go over here to the side. 
I can use the knife to cut him free. When he hits the ground... How... What are you going to cut? Yes. How? I'm going to catapult the knife into the rope. To cut him down. Now, at that point, we can either A, try to find some way to get him healing nope. in some way, shape, or form. We leave. Well, if we leave, they're just going to string him back up again. We all look like soldiers. We could just say that we saw him fall, so we're just going to take him back into custody. I got this. I look like Take him around a corner, throw him in the bag. We could throw him in the bag. How many people are around us, Hewitt? Uh, right where... Okay. I'm assuming y'all have not fully left the alley that y'all are standing in. You're not just all discussing this out in the open. Again, No, there's... we're not standing No, we're just the... yelling in the middle of the town <laughs> square. Like, hey, we're trying to free this guy. Hey, elven theocracy. Sorry, we're busy. We weren't paying attention to you whatsoever. See? We're good. We can get him. Easy peasy. No. It... But no, there's there's a few people moving around, but again, there's been a torrential downpour. An entire squad of Woven Branch was murdered, not but maybe five blocks away or four blocks away. Tom Fullery has occurred at an execution that was supposed to occur, so like the city is the tension is palpable. So what you're saying is that it's a fairly busy area right here. No. Okay. It should be. You see Woven Branch and the people that are moving around are the people who have to do something. Like, for lack of a better term, there's been a cop murder in a town that's already on lockdown. Most of what you're seeing moving around are Woven Branch, Rid of Land, and Theocracy. Okay, I think we can get him. I think it's doable. But someone's going to have to be really quick with the bag just to scoop him up, you know? Like I said, he has a thick neck. So, either that or... Uh, let's see... So, the plan is catapult the knife and cut him free. That is that. That is what I have on the table. Or I can just take the bag and stealth over and cut him down myself without anybody seeing. I mean, it. I literally make the knife fly into the rope and he falls. He falls down, we go over, say we're taking him back into custody, we get him out of here. Dreyfus, let's do it if we're going to do it. If not, let's move. Any objections? Yes, but y'all aren't going to listen to me, so let's just do it. Hurry up. No objections here. Just make sure you get my knife back. Uh. uh...
we will, I will uh, cast catapult on a knife, cut the rope. Okay, so Mulaith, you're able. What what would be your passive stealth, Mulaith? Uh, that's a good question. How do you calculate that again? Just like your dex? Ten, ten it, plus stealth. Yeah, it's just ten plus your stealth. Uh, for me, that would just be fourteen. Okay. Most people seem to be a little distracted by what's going on. It's not hard. It's not a high difficulty. That's why I'm not going to make you roll. You're able to okay. drop the knife. He catapults it. So the rope is a rope. It doesn't have a deck save, so it hits. Roll damage to see how much of rope is cut by an ex you know a uh, a superior head knife. Yeah, that's enough. Mulaith, did you move away quickly after dropping the knife? Oh yeah, she would have power walked. It, it, and it would have been, I, would, I wouldn't have done it until after she okay. was power walked. So you like, watch as the head knife flies and cuts. Wow, that is sonically unpleasant. <laughs> uh, but you watch as the head knife flies, cleaving the rope. And Bloodmane falls and land standing in a low crouch. I'm going to put kind of put my arms out and just wait, wait, wait. Let's if he takes off and starts starts fucking trouble, that's a good thing. Okay. Mulaith, you have the highest passive perception. You start feeling a slight vibration in the ground. Uh, guys, there's something going on. Does it feel oh, like no. something's coming? I have a, uh, it, it, or, okay, so, yeah. So, Mulaith, you pick it up, and once everyone else, you point it out, everyone can see that Mulaith, even though he is disguised, there is a slight jiggle to both him and, uh, Henry at the same time. And you watch as... You mean Gestalt? Gest yeah, Gestalt and then Henry. Sorry. You, you said Mulaith. Sorry. Uh, Why is Mulaith jiggling? Well, you see... <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, but you watch him lift his left leg and slam it down. And you watch as a fissure through the bricks occur and a very surprised pair of woven branch get catapulted straight into windows. <laughs> and then you watch what a over a century old dragonborn's copper, well, let's see, copper's fire, I believe, right? Or is belch of flame looks like. And people are now scrambling in this direction. I think uh, I would uh, I would take this as a job well done, and we should probably leave. Do we want to bag him? Bag him and tag? Uh, nope. Him? Nope. I think he's fine. Yep. Oh, let's, okay. Him, well. let's, let's leave him to it. As a mini Godzilla is raging a rampage. Oh, right. that's cool. Okay. I like I, a little rampage. So I think we should we should kind of take just kind of take off running away from him. I jaunt away in a very silly way as my Corey Feldman disguise. As a as a Corey Feldman would. As a Corey Feldman would with a, a lot of unearned confidence. Wow. Uh. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna drop and kind of, it, I'm gonna attempt to do this without really being seen, but I'm gonna drop and roll a healing potion towards him. Uh, roll me Maybe. stealth. Hewitt, how much did she eat at that? Uh, she's probably hungry. Is she attacking everything? Uh, 
it's very quickly seen that a health potion is rolling. But again, he's... Oh, I'm not trying to hide the health potion. No, I'm, I'm just... trying to hide me doing it. <laughs> I'm saying is, people probably notice you doing this, but at the same time, it looks like there is a very weird-looking member of the Woven Branch that just saw a humanoid dragon that's been hung up for God know, the gods know how long come down and start kicking people's asses in a rage. <laughs> and it might, they might be like another, like another one breath. Thanks. And he grabs it and keeps going. Yeah, whatever. That's right. Let's get the fuck out of here. I'm already leaving. I mean, I'm figuring y'all are all making your way up towards the Temple Mount, correct? Or Temple Mount? Oh, correct. Give me a second. Because Roll 20's new elements are kind of weird. Characters not here no more. Sorry, having to drop a whole lot on the map. Okay, again, Mulaith, you have the ungodly uh, you have the ungodly high uh, passive perception, like over 20, correct? Yes, 24. Eh. Don't do this. What, what are you doing? Okay, so yes, you are going to notice this as everyone is. Uh, moving. As you get towards the temple mot. You can see that there is a contingent that is coming down. You see the elven woman that had been standing on top of the balcony, and you see Elvorn with several members of the Woven Branch. Ah, no, we do not need a whole house to be dropped on everybody. That would be yeah, bad. On the house falls, Elvorn. everybody dies. House fall, Elvorn dies, we win. But you can see a rather large contingency of these individuals coming your way. And I will change the map for people. Let me know if you have trouble seeing it. I can see it. 
I would like everybody yes. to move into what marching order they would have been in. I currently cannot reach my mouse. I can't control my token. What? I can't believe it's not butter. I saved this. I saved this roll 20. I know I saved it. Try now. Yeah. There we go. Now it doesn't look like they're in the in the wall. Put them in the wall. So everybody can can everybody move their tokens? Everybody can do everything. Yeah. I just can't yes. do anything. Yes. Arvax would be towards the front. All right. Does that look okay for everybody? Wait, if we're still in formation, I would be towards the front. I mean, you'd be at the front. I'm saying I'd be towards the front. Well, move yourself into what order you would be in. Again, everyone else move around me because I cannot reach my mouse to feeding a baby. Who's this guy? That is what happened when I dropped Mularn. Yeah, that's, that's the token that uh, your wife made for me. Why do you have white hair? Cause she made. Cause she. Holy shit, that's new. What's new? Uh, if you right click on your icon, it gives you an option to open your character sheet. Oh, that's new. That's wow. Neat. Oh, that's two, neat. One step forward, two steps back. Thanks, roll twenty. So we got two steps. So we got two steps back incoming. Hashtag not spot. Uh, Next sponsor is Waffle House. We will accept. And writes Bram Bacon. Yes. Tarl's already. We don't, know we're, we don't know we're initiative yet. I can talk Tar us out of this. Tar I just have it up just in case. Tarl chooses. Tarl, fireball. Tarl, Tarl, Tarl chooses violence. <laughs> Be fair, you did drop a turn order box. I did, but that's also because I was kind of thinking y'all were going to do it. Oh my god, I got so many character sheets open. Just being prepared. <laughs> okay. Okay. L let's remember, Tarl was raised by Hiram with Isilgard and Tarek as his most active uncles and Archibinx as his voice of moral conscience. And Kaloum probably filling him full of every war story he could. In all fairness, Tyr will show him out. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, you see this contingent coming this way. Mulay, do you let everybody know? Yes. So what's the play here, guys, as you watch Elvorn and folks making a move into the city? They're coming our direction? Yep. They, How yep. far? Are they in, or do we it? take them out now? Uh, you're fairly certain they see you because you are a group of woven branch running back towards the mot. Everybody left. Get, get the fuck out of the way.
Everybody's just moving on top of each other. <laughs> oh no, Aspic jumped on Mulak. I know that, but I just see everybody else's tokens moving through each other. And stand at attention. I'm sure he could see it, that it's not, but we'll do our best. Nope, you have to be behind me. Okay, I will do that then. You have everybody move over to the side and then... And stand at attention. Stand at attention. The keepers are... It doesn't seem like they're moving at double time or anything like that. They are still just kind of strolling. And as you do this, y'all hear flares pop and go off in the distance behind you. Malak, I gotta ask, how tall are the twins, actually? Five foot eight. So, Elvorn would be just slightly taller than you. It might be 5'9", five 5'8", nine, five five something like that. Let me see. I have it written down. Yeah, 5'8". So, Elvorn, around the same size, but either boots or maybe an inch taller is the difference. He looks you dead in the eyes, notices the flares up above and looks back at you. You're heading the wrong direction. Yes, sir. What's your name? Uh, I forgot. It. Uh, what is my rank called? Uh, I believe you were going as a shepherd. Shepherd, shepherd freely, sir. All right. So you you said shepherd freely. Yes. Does a twenty three hit? <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, yep. Well. That. Uh, yep. Yeah, it does. So that is seven slashing six force. Give me a strength check. Check or save? Uh, oh, it save. Doesn't Sorry, matter. Save. It's a save. It's a save. save for me. Save. Seven. You are sent 10 feet back through a window. We don't How much damage? 13? Yeah. We don't have a shepherd freely attack. And I'm going to cast fireball. <laughs> All right. I knew there was something wrong with him when I was following him. <laughs> <laughs> we could totally throw him under the bus right now. <laughs> I oh, just tried hard. <laughs> you lied to us. There's also how a, could you? There's also a tiny willow on his shoulder, so here's like a smaller than Warwick Davis individual. There's just a halfling child on his shoulder. <laughs> As he gets sent back, he aspect is like, oh, ah, oh, dang. He doesn't actually say that. He can't speak. <laughs> just. <laughs> all right i think with this it's safe to say initiative or are y'all gonna actually try to say oh no hey we tried fuck him everybody go ahead and roll initiative as i go through this very stupid amount of npcs that i'm hoping y'all clear out several of soon no baby what well happened? i won't what happened I was feeding her and she fell asleep, and then she shifted onto my shoulder and she decided to not be asleep. Like, she'd fallen asleep, and then she's like, I need to be up on Mom's shoulder. Oh, there's headphones here. I don't have room. I'm gonna wake up! 
Man, I am eh, Stop trying to eat it. Uh, she, eat did, it. she did it for me earlier, eat, too. Y'all are lucky I have eat. rolled garbage for initiative. You eat what you want, baby. I take it I wouldn't have got a reaction when he pushed my partner through. It It's literally he drew his sword and stabbed him in the gut. It's the equivalent of a surprise round. Yeah. However, you do. You do however, act, 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 however act. they're going to be more surprised. Yeah, there's a good chance of that because uh, you're you're going to get a chance to attack before they do. All right, uh, do I got everybody in order? Mulak, Mulath, Tarl, Arvax. Elvorn, Mularn, Gestalt, Umara, Dreyfus, Marapel, Keeper. And give me a second to get out a notebook to start keeping up with health, because this is a fight that's going to last more than one session. Just based on time and numbers. I'm glad I get to go first, because I've really... You got something you want to do? Yeah. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six of them. It sounds like my child is putting up a fight right now. All right, and I got changed to music. Can turn it down a little bit. Hundred percent. That's perfect. There we go. Fight music. I didn't think this would actually make me this happy, guys. Wait, do we have music? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's right there, but it's not... I don't hear it. You might it have... It like... It sounds like kind of Final Fantasy-esque. Kind of Carnival-esque. Yep. Maybe I have... I was gonna say Church Organ, but... A little bitty. Oh, there we go. Alright, so... Mulak, it is your go initiative. Alright, a get on my broom and I'll fly to the top of this roof right here. So you're flying out of the building and up? Yes. In a very dramatic way. Mm-hmm. And I'll say, you're right. My name is Mulak Brightgloom. And we, and I'll snap my fingers and drop seeming, are the fall guys. And then, like, green cyclops energy beams shoot out of my eyeballs. And... So in this 20 foot circle, so it's going to be in the middle of this. So Elvorn is on the outside of the circle. Okay. So it'd be 10, 10. So on this person, 10. How did I right. end up at the back of the group? So it'll be... This one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and Elvorn. All need to make a dexterity saving throw as 
vitriolic sphere shoots from my eyeballs. All right, are you up casting it or just casting it at a normal just level? Just casting it in fourth level. All right, uh, this one is going to counter spell. I am waiting for the counter to the counter spell. Is that yeah, just... sure? Another one will counter the counter. Wait, which one would which one did it? Oh, it's one of these guys that did it. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. I will actually. I it, I, I thought it. I, I'm sorry. I thought it was her. Um, no. I will not counter spell that. Okay. So you're choosing not to. Correct. Because you see, you do there. Are, okay. So there's three priestesses, and then there's the yeah. keepers, and then correct the elven and woman her. that was with Elvorn. Yeah. Because I that it it don't do no good to counter it because they're because they're just gonna counter it. So we'll. We'll work on that. Also, I'm going to do this for now to remind me which one has actually used a reaction. Yeah, good idea. What a bitch. By the way, yeah. I, with the number of folks, do help me remember when I do a reaction to put a blue dot on who has used a reaction. God damn it, Edge. Why are you opening? No. No. Edge opened simply to ask if I would like to use Edge. Anything else, Malak? Uh, that's all I can do. All right. Aspect is still with you. Mulaith. Um, I'm going to start by doing my Crimson Rite of the Flame. So going to As give, a bonus action. Going to give you a red dot to let us know that you got your rit going. And who's this right here? That is Elvorn, who literally just stabbed your brother through a wall. Yeah, I, I'm going to move up here and swing at him twice. Oh god, too loud, too loud. Every, everyone looks normal now, because I had dropped seeming. Okay, so you strike with a 23. That's going to hit the 22 misses. Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay, so that's how much damage? A total of 11. 11. Okay. Mulaith, as your whip uh, hits him the first time, it finds purchase. The second time you come around, you actually watch as he slowly turns and catches it with his left hand, still holding his sword in his right. And he is going to yank you towards him. Upon that miss. Is there like a strength save or something I can do to resist getting pulled? You know what? I don't have that written down, but that makes sense. So let's do it. Give me a... I don't uh, have very good strength save, but I can try. <laughs> give me a strength save. We'll use... Oh. You managed to resist being pulled, but technically this is a... I would say he'd probably let it go if he didn't pull you in. Because it would sound stupid to consider you grappled if someone was holding your whip. There's also, like, spiky stuff on the end of the whip, so he probably didn't have a good time grabbing it. <laughs> that didn't seem to phase him. Fair. And to be sure, that is fire damage and magical slashings, right? Yes, that's correct. So that's 11. Yep. But as he grabs it, you feel a tug and you're able to kind of brace yourself. And he just kind of lets it go. You are looking at the expression... Like, you've never, you've seen this guy from a distance. You understand immediately why your brothers hate this man, other than what they've done to, like, what he's done to your father. He has no emotion. This is a, this is still Tuesday for him. This is Drivis' mom, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. You, 
you're assuming that because it looks like the Tiefling Lady, but as an elf. And that's my turn. All right. Tarl. Just one second. Born. Nothing's popped up. There we go. There it goes. Twenty four on a guiding bolt. Or no, a guided strike, Thresher. 24 will hit. So that is 15. And he has to make a strength save. Yeah, come on. Open up the character sheet. No. Watch as the ice starts to climb up him, Tarl, and he still does not really seem phased. Hmm. The 11 will miss, and as he does, he is going, as you miss, he's going to bring his sword down on you. Which I'm assuming is 17 minutes. Miss. 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 Okay. Anything else, Tarl? Let me see what I can do for a bonus action. Who's playing a guitar? Whoops. We learned Gestalt is now a bard. Yeah. I'm just waiting on my turn, okay? It's a bonus action to make that attack, Tarl. Under, under, more under priest. Four. All right. Um... Was a bonus action to do guided strike? No, it's guided strike was your action, and then using your war priest ability to do the thresher move. Thresher move. Yeah, that's it, then. Okay. At the end of your turn, he will use his first legendary action of the round. And Tarl, this is when you realize very quickly he probably can't be restrained. As he literally just steps through the ice, almost as he's not fully physically there. And he is going to make a series of attacks. A okay. series of attacks, you say? A series of attacks. I'm assuming a 17 misses on you, uh, Muleith. Correct. But a 26 will hit. Yeah, that's gonna hit. Alright. So, that is... Give me a strength save. So you're gonna match your not sent flying back like your brother. However, as the sword comes down on you, you then 
feel something additional striking in as he is dumping a smite. So there's an additional 18 necrotic. So you half it to nine. Okay. Wait, necrotic with a smite? This is something Mulaith knows, not you. Like, you feel the dark energy go through you, Mulaith, and being originally from the Shadowfell, as your family is, that's not what paladins are supposed to do. Third attack. Is going to miss. Man, I am rolling garbage. Good. Yep, rolling garbage. This is how it's going tonight. <laughs> I am down. So, you're able to sidestep these other swipes. And again, you're looking at this man's face, Mulaith. There is no emotion. There's almost as if there's no perception of you in front of him. Not so much like he's puppeted. It's there is no concern, no care with this guy. Creepy. Arvax. How did I end up so far back? Uh, because... Everybody else got in the battle order, and you were told you could not be in front of Mulak. Alright, bonus action, Fury of God. Uh, 30 feet up there, so I'm flanking him. Miss. Six. Hold on, as you miss... Does a 22 hit? Fuck, yes. So that is 8 slashing that's halved and 5 force. Give me a strength save. The 9. Yep. You're able to resist being knocked back. A 28 will hit. Okay, gonna throw a smite. At second level. So that is 12. 12 radiant, yeah. You feel as the strike hits that the divine force is not finding as much purchase on him as it should. That's all I got. Alright, at the end of your turn, he'll use another legendary action. Do, do, do. What will he do? He is going to just. We, we got an angry baby. He's going to unleash an attack. 15 misses. 15 misses. 20 Arvax? Nope. 27. Fuck. So that is 7 half to 3 plus 6, so 9, and give me another strength save. You are knocked 
10 feet away. So you get knocked 10 foot back. She wants to be up on my shoulder, but she doesn't fit up here with my headphones. Okay, anything else, Arvax? No. Okay. It is then his go. Replenishing his legendary actions. You notice from him, Mulaith, you notice it, Tarl because you experience it, you notice it as well. Uh, just Brad and Gestalt. Oh, no. A aura starts to radiate from him. I don't like auras. And I need you to give me... I need you to give me a wisdom save. Mm, I'm great at those. Well, not Arvax. Arvax is good. It's for Mulaith, Gestalt, Henry, and Tarl. I'm going to have... Let me... Oh, that's a strength save from Arvax. I didn't make a wisdom save. No, I looked over and like it made a double roll noise for me, so I... When your construct makes a better wisdom save than you. <laughs> Not like it matters. Okay, Malaith, I need a wisdom save. Tarl, you're fine. Uh, you are not frightened. Malaith, you are not frightened. Uh, Gestalt, you and Henry are both frightened. And Wait, I gotta make sure. Is Henry immune to being frightened? He's immune to chained exhaustion and poison. So not, not frightened. Which is weird. I mean, he don't have no intelligence, but maybe he just Looking at looking at Dreyfus's dad, it gets spooky. Yeah. Uh, okay. So two of you are resistant to fear and are no longer gonna be affected by that within the radius. However, Everybody in the radius is going to take eight psychic damage. As your head starts to hurt. Next, he is going to hold up his shield directly in front of him. And let's see, I got to make a cone. Gotta make a cone. Like Joe Biden, I love a good cone. How do I make this stick? Okay, I'm not doing this right. The music has stopped as well. Why didn't I just say line? Line would have been easier, Hewitt. One thing I do like about Foundry is you can much easier, much more easily do that. Okay. So. Tarl, you will not be affected by this, but Mulaith, Gestalt, Henry, and Mularn all need to give me deck saves. You said Dex? Yes. Alright, Mulay succeeds. Mularn. Hold on. Let me pull this back up. Is somebody outside? No. Okay. Do you hear my dog? I just heard sounded like wind or something blasting past a microphone. Oh. I'm not sure. Oh, that is almost max damage. 
Oh, no. Not really. It's about a little bit less than average. So, 16. Mulath succeeds. Gestalt. Henry fails. Gestalt saves. Mularn fails. So, it's 32 force damage to everybody that fails. 16 force to the people that succeeded. 42? 32. 32? Okay. How, how is Henry? To the people that succeeded, 32? Uh, about half. So, hold on, hold on. Okay, I think that's actually Claire's mic. Uh, 32 to the people who failed, half that to the people who succeeded. If I misspoke earlier, I apologize. 32, so that would be what, 16? 16. So, Mulath, Gestalt, y'all take 16. Henry and Mularn take 32. see so he has used that that is yeah that's him mularn Uh So I'm going to hit fireball on uh, Yeah, I'm going to cast fireball here. Okay. And that should get, it won't get Elvorn or Arvax, right? Correct. It will get, uh, it'll get everybody above Arvax. And you are casting regular level fireball, correct? Yep. Okay. Tech saves. That keeper fa or yeah, that that keeper passed. Next keeper failed. Let's see. Do, do, do. It's not gonna get the other keeper, right? Oh, no, I see. The counterspelled me, but not my brother. I see how it is. Don't counterspell him. I was like, I'm gonna talk shit, Hewitt. Please don't. Okay. Failure on that Marapel. Success on that Marapel. So, you strike right up here, right? Yeah. You watch as, let's see, what was the damage? 25? Yeah. So, one Marapel failed. So, that's 25. One succeeded, which is... um. Half 25 is 12, because we round down, right? Yeah.
you notice as the flame would hit Umara or the skies Umara that you think and the Mar or the Marpel that is right next to her, it seems like it almost goes around. I would say with a sixteen, your passive perception, it seems like and you're such a high arcana, it seems like it hits a field that prevents the flames from penetrating into them. That's it. I'm done. But you did serious damage to the two Marapels that are not. They are not looking good. Hold on, is, are there more than one song playing? It doesn't yes. say a song is playing for me, but I hear one. Okay, it's weird. The music's being weird. All right. Gestalt. Okay, first up, I'm going to... Oh, no, I'm frightened. I'm assuming I'm frightened, right? Yes. Okay. I guess... What would be a Frightened? You could attack him at disadvantage, or you could use your whole movement to flee away from him. I'm going to use my whole movement. One, two, three, four. Hey! Five. He does not take a swing at you. Oh. <sighs> Okay. Well. I, I look at Mulaith. I'm like, give him hell, kid. I'm going to do my best. You now and have I taste. You now have the zoomies. And then, uh, Henry's going to move right there and take a swipe at this guy. Because why not? He can do that. He's allowed to. No. Unless he gets advantage because of the flanking, but I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I, I, would, I would allow flanking because there, there is an Arvax there. That's 12 force damage. Hold on, I'm currently numbering all these guys so I don't mess up health. Okay, so you're attacking six. With how much? Uh, 12 force. Okay. Just a little punch, you know. Just a little. Did you? Uh, did, did he punch in the buns? He punched in the buns. He came up and was like, and then punched. All right. Anything else? Nope. Gestalt, is that it? Or what's Aspect gonna do? Oh, aside from Aspect, just jumping on Mulorn. Yeah, that's he's it. just there. Okay. All righty. Okay, let's see. How high up did you go, um, Lock? However high the building is. So you're just above the height of the roof? I'm like basically standing on the roof, but I'm still on my broom. Cool. And... 
Mara is going to turn and look at you and lightning bolt. Going to lightning bolt just me when we have lines of people lined up? Crazy. That's she, fine. She did take something personal from you. I didn't do anything to her. You did like a really fancy show and you upstaged her walking around. But that's just all I have to do is exist for that to happen. Oh, no. She did take your existence well, personally. Well, by Aspic again. So, deck save, unless somebody is doing something. Wait, who's hit, getting hit? I thought it was Mulan. Natural 20. Natural 20, so it's half damage. Uh, deck save, 15. No, no. Poor, poor, poor Aspic. That doesn't, that does not make it. Uh... Well, let's see. Let's see how much damage this actually does. He has a whole... S so... Uh, he's it, gone. <laughs> it's 31, 31 to Aspic, 15 to... Uh, Aspic had a whole... Uh, had a whole 6 HP. <laughs> is, isn't he a coin when he... Or is he a necklace? Yeah, he, t he turns into a medal... Like a... Uh, a brooch or something? Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you, what is your, would you give me a dex, uh, save real quick, uh, another one, Mulat? Why? Just because. 13? So you, you catch the pendant that was once. Okay. Pendant, thank you, that's the word I was looking for. Alrighty. And then it's Dreyfus's turn. He is going to bonus action blinding smite. And he is going to run in. Which means, as a heads up, Mulaith and Tarl, since y'all are within 10 feet of him, you have an additional... Uh, uh, since Well, no, since Mulaith is within 5 feet of him, you have an additional 10 feet of movement at the start of your next turn. Not that you need it. And he is uh, going to take a swing. Miss. Which means... Damn. So that's a hit. But Dreyfus is not knocked back. And, uh, and yeah. Uh, yeah. 25 hits. 25 hits. Wouldn't Dreyfus have had advantage since I was on the other side? 22 doesn't hit. Okay. Magic number is 23. So Dreyfus is going to do 10 slashing, 6 cold, uh, plus an additional 6 radiant. Which, let me double check something on the other character sheet. Doesn't matter, he's immune to being blind, is what y'all find out from this one. Dreyfus is also going to dump in a smite. Which the two of you that are right next to him are going to notice something with the D8 damage account. What? 
So, Mulath and Tarl, you notice that as the smite hits, that it is not doing as much damage as it should do. Like, you've watched Arvax and Dreyfus smite. And now I gotta do math. At the end of Dreyfus' turn, legendary action. That's a hit. Dreyfus resists. Oof. That's a crit. Which means Elvorn is also dropping in a smite. Dreyfus is still resisting. Shit, another hit. Dreyfus resisting. Finally a miss. Um, y'all give me a second to total up this damage. If someone wants to help me, please do. Three. So. so that's ten plus four plus eight plus four plus eight plus six plus fifteen. Plus nine uh, sixty four. Yep, sixty four. Dreyfus takes a incredibly heavy hit, like half health hit. And Mulath, again, because of your perception, this is when you see the slightest of a smile form on his lips. On whose lips? On Elvorn's. On Dreyfus's lips. Yeah, the Dreyfus is like, oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> Double weird, actually. <laughs> made it, just made it so much weirder. <laughs> just made it so, so much weirder. So, so much weirder. Not really. That's like him being like, oh yeah, that's permission to go fucking ape shit now. That's what Drivers is thinking. We can only hope. It's like Captain America smiling after he gets the shit beat out of him. Yeah, spell. No! Yeah, there you go. Right there. Good. Well, it's a 60-foot cone. Okay, Joe Biden, stop! I can't see it off the map! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> if you can't see it off the map, then you're good. You're good. You don't need to... <laughs> you don't need to okay. do the math that much. Okay, so 
the folks that need to give me a uh, need to give me a constitution saving throw. Arvax Constitution? Yes. Arvax, a keeper. Henry. Uh Mularn and Gestalt. Henry gets a plus three. Well, Henry just got a nat 20, so my boy doing good. Henry like, yeah, I'm big and strong. Uh, nope. So Mularn saves. Henry saves. Um, Arvax fails. You save. Like so y'all are taking, uh, y'all take like 15. Arvax, you take 30 cold. Uh. That that guy takes half damage, and he is really not looking good. Henry's not looking great. He's starting to wobble, wobble a bit, you know. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, I got to make a concentration check. Is it concentration's just a uh it's a, it's a con it's save? A constitution. Yeah. yeah. All right. Or is it con save or just a constitution check? It's a concentration is a constitution, con but is... you can have advantage on concentration but not constitution. Right. Okay. Fuck. Well, you took but is it a save or a check, though, is what he was it's, asking. It's a, it's a save. It's a save. It's a save. Oh, it's okay, so you add five save. more to that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So it'd be also, you had to be half of a 15 or a 10 with as much damage as you took. Yeah, so... So you, you saved either way. Okay, I was making sure, because the last thing I want to happen is Mulev just going lethargic on us. So, Mulak, that is going to be six darts of magic missile coming at you. At me? Yes. So For that's how much? That's three, eight, eleven, fourteen, sixteen, nineteen. This, like one, getting fucked up. this one right here is not going to do anything. Keepers. Okay, coming at Tarl from one of the keepers. Miss, miss. Coming at Dreyfus. <laughs> Hit, miss. Oh, geez. Uh, coming at Arvax with advantage. Twenty-one. Uh, matches. Seven half to three. Nat twenty for twenty-five. Fuck. So eighteen half the nine. The one uh, coming at Arvax again. Miss. 23. Fuck. 
for four slashing. Coming at Arvax. 17 misses, 10 misses. Coming at good old Henry. 15. Is that hit or miss, Gestalt? Uh, on How did I get four attacks at me with great swords? There's only three guys around me. They have two attacks. Oh. Gestalt. Did Gestalt step away? Hello? Hey, uh, does a 15 hit Henry? Uh-oh. Did we lose Gestalt? It's his armor class. That's what I said. Okay, it didn't come through. Uh -oh. So 15 slashies on him. He's not looking great. Not looking good at all. 18. On, 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 Henry. on, that's a hit. 12, 12 slashes uh, on Henry. Uh, let's all say goodbye to Henry. The shortest serving one out of all of them. But the most beautiful. But the most beautiful. He was a shining spark that can only shine for so long, you know? He slowly sinks down into a puddle with a thumbs up. And, uh, since it's 1030, this is where we're going to end tonight's. Shit. Session. Oh, no. I had a whole plan. I'm going to forget it. That's okay. I'll remember it. It's fine. Okay. I couldn't stop the music. Shoot it, yeah, shoot it to me in a DM. I can maybe oh, work, yeah, off, yeah, of yeah, work yeah, off of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So this it's is where... just so that I don't get fucked on my spell again. So, uh, that's where we're in tonight. Thank you all for playing, guys. Uh, I had, I will go ahead and tell you, if you all had ignored Bloodmane, y'all would have made it up to the Mott before they had left. That's, I told y'all it wasn't worth it. But We the, just had to be good people. Fuck. We wouldn't have lost Henry if that were the case. And Aspic. You the two people I care about. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, since I know my wife is holding a baby. Uh, socials are Team Bonus Action at uh, Facebook, Instagram, Threads, Blue Sky. Uh, you can also find us at TeamBonusAction.com and find us on Twitter at Bonus underscore Team. Uh, Wednesday, we should be back with Redwell. We will be back with Redwell. And running, well, I'm not going to say what we're going to be doing. Y'all find out. You'll figure it out. And next Sunday. We're going we... in a well. I know we're going in a well. We're at least headed you're, towards a well. Red well. You're headed towards a well. The red. well that is red. And uh, Sunday we will have the first session of a brand new live campaign, also run by Topher. So uh, keep an eye out. It should be fun. And uh... yeah, there's so much going on with me. And Knox sent you here. Wait, wait. We got to do one thing. Okay, you d you do the thing. There's one more thing we got to do. Go listen to our podcast, Back with Obscura. I just needed to plug that. I just needed to plug it once. I've been, like, not plugging it because out of respect for everybody here, I didn't want to be obnoxious, but I got to be obnoxious today. I'm sorry. Anyway. New, new episode tomorrow. New episode tomorrow. Every Tuesday. Knox, since you are here. Uh, we appreciate y'all hanging out with us this evening. And until next time, folks, don't let your meatloaf.